Okay, thank you for the uh, housekeeping and also the brief introduction. Uh, welcome to uh, a series of training uh, provided by IDEC. This is uh, training related to uh, Spectrum uh, module, uh, we call it a quiz. Quiz Spectrum, uh, quiz module in our Spectrum. Now, um, let me share my screen. Um, can you, uh, I just want to get a feedback from uh, all of you. Um, and I would like to see your expectation. Uh, kindly type in, if you be able to type in, please type in uh, um, what are the things that you expect from uh, this uh, session. Uh, oh. If you're unable to type in, maybe you can unmute for a while and tell Dr. Yazid what's the expectation given. Yeah, let, let's uh, see uh, expectation, your expectation, what you want to learn from this session. Let me share my screen. Um, this one. Or I'm bringing the Microsoft Teams that showing your picture. Uh, on my shared screen and let's see if there's any input from your side um, so far we have got 20 participants where I is the chat you can see the chat right Tak the chat eh? um can you hold on for a while uh, let me start it out with Zati uh, well that maybe we can have a few of you to just unmute yourself and tell us what your expectation for today's webinar. Hmm, Dr. Thailand. Apa khabar? Tak dengar, muted ke? I cannot, uh, tak dengar, tak sampai, suara tak sampai. <laughs> tak dapat uh, kita dapat dengar lah Dr. Zailan is muted oh Dr. Zailan is muted let me see whether I can unmute Dr. Zailan Ah, Dr. Zailan, just now muted lah. Ah, kau salah. Tak dengar tadi. Oh, okay. Ah, tak. Ma, saya mohon keluar awal dalam buku orang 3.15 sebab ada perjumpaan oh. dengan dekat. Okay, okay. Tak apa. Uh, expectation nak belajar apa eh sebenarnya? <laughs> okay, sebab saya um, mungkin nak quiz tu macam kita kalau nak quiz tu macam uh, nak randomkan dia punya. Let's say kita ada bank swap. Soalan, okay, random. Okay, dapat. Kita ada ada question, tapi kita ada student 10, tapi setiap orang akan dapat soalan yang berlainan dan dia punya solution apa ABC itu uh, boleh di random. random. Okay, okay, got it. Ha, ini and daripada then, doktor. Boleh kita nak apa ni menaik tu dalam matematik equation. <laughs> tak jumpa function tu. Okay, nombor dua math lah. Ah, sebab saya dah matematik kan, so jadinya tu lah. Okay. Um, ini ada, uh, terima kasih uh, Dr. Zailan. Uh -huh. Kalau boleh macam, boleh ke kita includekan figure let's say uh, based on this figure uh, macam tu lah. Boleh, boleh. Uh, okay. Saya pun baru belajar juga ni, Dr. Zahir sebenarnya expert ni. Oh okay. <laughs> uh, kita tengok lah expert sama-sama. Um, Dr. Wahid, Dr. Siddiq, ada input, Dr. Tio, Dr. Chi. Okay, hello. Yeah, hello. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I just uh to uh, to mention that uh, I don't understand the Bahasa Malaya, Bahasa Malaysia very good. So I don't, I don't, I didn't know what uh, Dr. Zailan said during his uh, feedback. Okay, just now Dr. Okay. Zailan wanted just, to learn okay. more. 
to learn okay, more I, on. I, sh- I just want to share my my expectation, can? Yep. Okay, so uh, because I just uh, joined the uh, coordination job for uh, mm-hmm. some uh, few courses, so I just expect from this uh, 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 webinar or workshop to uh, to utilize the spectrum. Uh, for designing a different type of questions for quizzes and for exam, if possible. So, okay. yeah, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Okay, Dr. Sidi. Tak dengar lah. Muted sekejap. Uh, Dr. Sidi, CS. Ah, masih muted tu. Dr. Sidik, muted. Um, okay, boleh dengar? Ah, okay, boleh dengar. Cantik, ah, cantik. Saya pun ada bank soalan. Ada bank soalan, uh, cuma nak tahulah flow tu step by step tu sampai sampai dia habis semua, kita boleh analyse semua kan, keperbagaian tu. Memang bank tu ada, tapi nak guna tu memang, memang tak kerti lah step-step tu semua yang berkaitan dengan uh, kadang-kadang kita ada student ramai macam seratus setengah, dua ratus student. Jadi kita dah ada bank, kita nak supaya benda tu tak tak pandai nak guna lah sebenarnya. Ah uh, okay. macam time. mana nak ambil soalan daripada question bank. Okey. Okey, terima kasih Dr. Okey, sama-sama. Question bank. Okey. Ah uh, ada lagi. Satu sikit dah tadi. Ah uh, Dr. Razia ada uh, Dr. Hanafi uh, yeah, I, I don't have question um, <laughs> but my uh, uh, aim uh, to join this to, to follow you know what uh, I mean uh, kind of new thing so meaning okay. that uh, I, I will be observed uh, from right. the beginning until the end yeah thank okay, you okay. <laughs> all right okay um uh, any other participant would like to uh, share your um, expectation from this uh, session uh, hello i am dr mashur rahman hi dr and, mashur uh, yes actually i recently joined uh, faculty of business and economics uh, so okay. i'm new in this actually technology this spectrum so i'm just observe from uh, beginning to end uh, okay. uh, to learn something yes All right. thank you okay Okay, thank you. Any other input? Okay, if not, uh, let, let's uh, get started. I try uh, to guide you in such a way you'll be able to learn by your own self uh, later on. Okay, as you know, our spectrum, uh, it, it is based on uh, Moodle platform. Uh, Moodle platform is a learning management uh, platform that has been used by many other universities as well. But we brand, we rebrand it uh, when we call it uh, Spectrum. It is actually model based uh, platform. So uh, I think it is good for me to refer to the original uh, guidelines that are provided by uh, model community uh, so that you know where are the source, where are the like a user manual. So I'm going to open the page related to um, quiz module. Uh, let me bring that page. Okay, one. okay this one. Um, right, to get to this page, you just uh, type in uh, quiz module Moodle and then you will find um, uh, re- uh, search results and then from that you'll be able to uh, get it here um, so let me try just type in uh, quiz simply quiz and Moodle that's it and then you be able to go to the uh, Moodle page and then you'll be able to see um, this one, uh, quiz activity. I'm going to zoom in so that you'll be able to see the wording here. So model and you see 
uh, it has documentation and so on. Even demo also available there. So here specifically, uh, because I'm looking for quiz, so I uh, landed at the page related to quiz. So we, if you can, if you would like to go for, from the main page, you can go to here and then um, to the respective topic that you would like to explore more. So, so we are in quiz activity. So from this, uh, I have opened the, the, the things that I supposed to open. I think this is the one. Same thing, quiz. Um, from here, this is the first page related to quiz. Uh, it is kind of summary, uh, what the quiz is all about, how to set up, how it works from student point of view and from teacher point of view. All right, and then this is a brief description. And then uh, down below there, there are uh, details on how to uh, set up a quiz, the settings on the timing, when it is open, when it is closed, the description about that setting available on this uh, thing. If I click that, then I'll bring, I will have this page. This will tell you all the setting is all about, quiz setting, right? Now I go back to the first page on, on the quiz. And then that, uh, afterward I have a uh, building quiz. This is how you can start creating the uh, quiz question. And then afterward using quiz. And then a quiz report. Uh, I noticed uh, one of the participants asking on uh, how uh, we can do marking afterwards. So quiz report and FAQ. Right, I'm going to uh, walk through uh, on all these subtopic. So first, let's see the first one. Okay, quiz activity. Uh, hope uh, you can uh, open the same page so that uh, you can um, you be able to see uh, what I'm browsing. So simply type in uh, quiz Moodle and then look for uh, this page. All right. Um, so the first one, it, uh, it tells what this uh, quiz is all about. So it, it's a mod module inside uh, Spectrum where the instructor able to uh, put up uh, various type of question. Um, these are the type of question that we can uh, we can have multiple choices, true or false. Uh, by the way, uh, how do I get here uh, from this front page? I call this uh, front page the page that I opened the, the earlier on. I call it front page of the quiz. You can go to this link, question types. When you click that, this question type will uh, appear. So the description about the question type. So these are the question that uh, can, uh, that are covered in a quiz. We have true or false, multiple choices, matching, short answer, essay. Especially in exam, we can make use quiz to ask uh, um, essay type of question. And it can be handwritten. A calculator, um, one of the participants just now asked about the uh, equation. Yes, equation can be included here. Um, drag and drop, embedded answer, and so on. Um, let me go back here. So this is how uh, a quiz can be set up. These are the flow. Um, uh, these are the simplest way to set up a quiz. In your course, um, of course, you need to turn edit on and then choose quiz from the activity chooser. So let me show how to do this. I believe all of you already familiar um, how to do that. Uh, for that, uh, to demo that, uh, let me open one uh, simple subject. Maybe I can make use of this. So I choose one section. 
So right over here, you need to make sure you are in editing mode, turn edit on. You know that you are in editing mode by looking at the uh, topics, there are pencils uh, next to the topic. Now you can uh, click add activity and from here uh, click all and then you'll be able to uh, pick a quiz. So that's the, the step, uh, the first step that you need to do. When you do that, you actually uh, adding a quiz holder. This is quiz holder, not yet the, uh, the question. A quiz holder. So give it a name. Let's say try. This. Description. If you want the description to be appeared uh, right after the name, quiz, quiz, uh, quiz name, you just need to tick this one. Um, and then timing, notice over there, it has all the setting uh, down below here, all the settings. If you want to know details about uh, what are the, this settings is all about and what are the implications when you change uh, the settings, you uh, I want to visit this page. I'm going to back to the front page of the quiz in the Moodle. And remember just now I mentioned uh, quiz setting. This is where you can see details about the quiz setting. Let me open this tab. So this is quiz setting. So notice in detail it tells you um, the uh, quiz admin, general timing, um, and so on grades layout these are the details description of this uh, setting let me open this one maybe i can hide this this setting see layout if you want to know details about the layout if you if you are already familiar you just want to um, have a quick uh, look on uh, what the layout is all about, you can use this question mark. But it is just a brief description. If you want to know more, you go to the uh, Moodle page, see the user manual there. So, maybe I can give you an, uh, a quick uh, overview about all this setting. Um, just now we had uh, included the name of the quiz. Remember, we are putting a quiz holder now not yet the question and then put description if you want the description to be appeared uh, at the front page of the quiz i mean in the uh, uh, spectrum page you tick this one then this one will be appear uh, timing and this is where you set the uh, let me make it bigger this is where uh, you see it, you set the uh, on time sorry the starting when the quiz is going to open when a quiz is going to close. Um, if you set this, enable this, uh, before the uh, open of the quiz time, uh, the student will not able to see the question, of course. But be careful if you are editing your quiz and also uh, putting up the question, make sure you hide the quiz or you set this time early on so that the, 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 the question will not lead to the student. Very important. If you do not take this, if this is the setting that uh, you are using, make sure the topic at the front um, under this quiz is set to be invisible to the student. All right, to be safe, let's set a, a time that's going to be maybe somewhere uh, tomorrow, 25th. So by setting that, the student will not able to see uh, the question. But if you just leave it till tomorrow, uh, but your intention is to make it on 26th, for example, the day after tomorrow, then tomorrow they will see. So be careful on the timing. 
Uh, this is straightforward. Now the time limit. Uh, you can open the time, uh, open and close time within a day or, uh, or two days a week. And if you want them to answer within one hour, then this is where the setting that you need to change the time limit. So even it is open for uh, one day, for example, but if you set the uh, time limit to be equal, let's say one hour, so student will only have one hour chance to complete the, uh, the, uh, the quiz. So that means um, you can have a random type of question and then when the student A comes in, they take up the question, uh, they completed, they have to complete within one hour and uh, later on uh, other students uh, can come in and then they complete it within one hour or maybe few students do the same time but those only possible within the uh, quiz active uh, period quiz, quiz active periods i refer i'm referring to the open uh, the quiz time and also uh, the closer quiz time uh, within that period so i'm not using that currently Um, if I just if you just set uh, open time, that means it will open on that date and then it will open forever if you do not uh, include the close time or if you do not uh, include the time limit. And down below here, when the time expire, this is uh, the action that going to happen when the let's say one hour has already exceeded. What happened? By default, whatever the attempt made by the student will be automatically submitted. Uh, you have other option as well. Um, the second option is there is a, a you, you, you can specify grace period. The third one um, is quite stringent. Attempt must be submitted before time expire. Or the, uh, the, the answer will not be counted. So I would suggest uh, to leave it as a default unless you know what you intend to do with this uh, question, right? So the first one, what happened, whatever uh, answer that uh, available on the uh, student screen, it will be automatically submitted uh, if the times expire. This is great. You can specify uh, grade over here. And layout. Uh, you can have uh, one question per page, two questions per page, and so on. The good thing about uh, making one question per page is that if the student finish that page and advance to the next page, the answer will be automatically recorded. Will be forced to re to be recorded. If you have, uh, for example. 10 questions per page, what happened in one page, the student will see 10 questions. And by default, the system has uh, auto save uh, every, I think every one minute or two minutes. In between, it will not be safe. So the danger about uh, that setting, um, within that uh, period, if the internet connection is disconnected, um, most likely the uh, the answer uh, will not be captured. But if the internet connection come back again, it will take up the existing answer. So for this one, I would suggest every question. Down below, we have more setting. Doctor, kalau kita letak yang satu muka je tu, yang ditulis neighbor all question on one page tu, it, dia jadi, uh, kalau macam internet terputus, habislah semua yang dia dah jawab. Um, Sistem sebenarnya dia ada default admin punya setting lah. Admin punya setting kalau dia set uh, 2 jam, 2 jam pula, 2 minit uh, auto save. So what happen every 2 minit, all the student answer will be saved to the server lah. Uh, my worry, um, kalau uh, internet disconnected and then it is not safe. Baik-baik. Uh,
So yang bawah ni down down below here navigation method. Um, if you force sequential, uh, if you put sequential, student have to answer question one, question two, question three in sequence. If you put it free, so that you, student can jump on any question that, that they like. And at the student side, if I can bring the page on the student view, let me see using quiz setting. Yeah, student will be able to see this navigation um, uh, bar. Uh, student will be able to jump to question one, question two, question three. If we set it free, if we set uh, to follow the sequence, then they have to uh, complete one by one. Let me come back here. Um, next question behavior. Uh, this is a shuffle within question. You can have a description here. If enable, the parts making up each question will be randomly shuffled each time the student attempt the quiz, provided the option is also enabled in the question setting. This setting only applies to questions that have multiple parts such as multiple choices or matching question. So what does it mean? If you have a question with A, B, C, D, right? So the answer A, B, C, D will be shuffle. So student A and student B, when they are saying, seeing uh, the same question, but the sequence of A, B, C, D will be different if we set this enable. So we have shuffle of question and also shuffle of the answer. This is referring to the shuffle of the answer within the same question. We also able to sh shuffle the question. I I'll show you how to do that. Let's on. So let's set it a shuffle. Um, next, how question behave. Uh, don't worry, all this description are available in the user manual here. As I mentioned earlier, you just type in quiz and then you will be landed to this uh, front page of the quiz and then the description about the setting can be found over here quiz setting so i have already opened right over here so this question uh the, the, the description question behavior All right so now we are here question behavior i'm going to go back to the page question behavior um so how question behave, deferred feedback, we have several options. Um, a quick help here, we'll um, briefly describe what are the options uh, common, commonly used. So, uh, deferred feedback uh, is a default uh, setting. What happened, uh, this is deferred feedback. Student can interact with the question in the quiz in various uh, different way. For example, you may wish the student to enter an answer to each question and then submit the entire quiz before anything is created and they get any feedback or they get any feedback. That will be different feedback. What does it mean? Um, in When you design the question, I'm going to show on the design of question uh, afterwards. Um, when you set the question, you will have a section where you want to tell the student, you want to give a feedback to the student. If the student answer yes, uh, answer correct, answer correctly, uh, answer incorrectly, and so on. That feedback, if you set deferred feedback, uh, the feedback for each of the question will be deferred until student have completed all the question. Let's say the, student, uh, the quiz have five questions. Student will have to answer um, question one, two, three, four, five, and submit. When they submit, uh, after they submit, then they will see the feedback. That's for the deferred feedback setting. Uh, the next one, if uh, this one set as what? Uh, interactive with multiple tries. You can allow the student to attempt the question and then let, let's read this one. Alternatively, you may wish uh, for students to submit each question, now each question, and they go along uh, to get immediate feedback. 
Now, every single question for this uh, second setting, uh, they will get immediate, immediately, uh, they get feedback immediately, whether they answer it uh, correct or wrong. And um, if they do not get it right, if they answer it uh, wrongly, uh, they have a, a second chance to uh, submit the answer um, with lower mark. Okay, depends on your setting. So these two settings are commonly used, but normally the first one uh, is used. Okay, show more. Uh, this is a dependency which attempt boots on the last. Uh, now let's look on the uh, review option. This is related to the feedback. Um, notice over there during the attempt, it is grayed out because I already uh, select, selected the default feedback. Uh, for the exam question, I would suggest uh, we untick all this so that they will not get any uh, unless you want to uh, provide them feedback so that we, they will not get any uh, feedback uh, before uh, the end of the question, the end of the exam. Okay, that's for the review option. Also, the details about review option can be found in the uh, manual. Uh, this one, appearance. Um, you can you can include uh, a picture over here. Uh, normally, we do not touch from this point uh, downward. Lah. Uh, save exam browser. We just said it. no. Uh, we currently use responders uh, monitor um, uh, and also lockdown browser uh, package. Uh, this is uh, quite similar to the lockdown browser, but it is, we call it a safe exam browser. It is another version of lockdown browser. Uh, it is built in within the uh, model, within the uh, spectrum. But currently we're not using it yet. Unless you know uh, how to use this, then you can go ahead using it. Um, all right. The rest of the feedback you can, um, I mean, the rest of the settings details you can refer to the uh, uh, manual. I noticed that somebody is uh, putting out the hand. Let me see. Yes, I hear. Ah, ah, soalan ni? Uh, Dr. Yazid, ya yeah, saya ada soalan saya nak soal, um, um, There's two mode of controlling the access to the quiz uh, for the students yeah? uh, Restrict access and also the timing setting the opening and closing the uh, the the quiz So what is the basically the difference between these two whether one is better than the other or macam mana? Okay, thank you for the question Um. Uh, first preference is to use this timing. Okay, this timing is uh, is um, how to say normally used to set when the question open, when the question close. The second part restriction, this one restrict access in any um, module in Spectrum, you will see there is a restrict access uh, option. This um, uh, restrict access, it has, uh, you can set up rule here. You see, uh, you can set date, but up there, you already have an option to set when uh, it is on, when it is off, uh, better use that one. Um, as for this one, it is a, a, a quite um, flexible, uh, rule that you can set here. You can set uh, only certain group able to take up the quiz, uh, only certain user to take up the quiz. This is a rule. So for example, if I I can even uh, set a restriction, let's say, 
activity completion. I can have separate activity. Maybe ask them to uh, watch a video um, or answer quiz number one, for example, a set of quiz. Only after they have completed that activity, only then you'll be able to assess uh, the quiz. So this is um, a, a general rule that you can set up. But you have uh, extra flexibility to every single module in the spectrum. Not only to the quiz, but also to the assignment uh, and uh, some other uh, module, modules. So this is, if you want to have that uh, flexibility, um, extra restriction, then this is where you can do the setting. As for the on and uh, off the quiz, uh, this is the best way to set it. The timing. All right. Thank you. I have another question though for the timing. Um, yep. So we can set the open and close uh, time uh, and date for the uh, quiz. Yes, but if correct. we just leave it, uh, leave it like we only set for the, uh, for we the enable the open the quiz and then, uh, but we do uh, set the time limit for one hour. So after one hour, does the quiz close by itself? Uh, whether is the quiz would be still accessible for the student? It's just that they don't, they cannot, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, try to answer the quiz again or something like that. So okay, does it good appear? Question. Mm, thank okay, you. good question. When you set the first one, open the quiz, we set it, uh, we set the date and then the date uh, has arrived. Student will have opportunity to make an attempt to the quiz. When the student make an attempt, um, now time limit is one. So let's say student A now uh, go to the spectrum and then uh, attempt the quiz. They only have one hour. All right. Uh, whether or not they are allowed to do second attempt, because when they do the first attempt, the system will record as first attempt. When they come in second time, that will be second attempt. If you don't allow second attempt, then there is a restriction. Uh, let me see. Let me find that. Uh, not here. Not here. I'm trying to look for the section on the attempt. Where is it? You can allow uh, multiple attempt or you can uh, disallow uh, attempt, any attempt at all. Yeah, because sometimes I notice. Uh, a a a anyone can can help me? Where where are the setting? Oh, it falls under. Is it great? Ah, here, yeah. under grid. Uh, yeah. 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 When you set it unlimited, they can mm. attempt many, many times. Many times. Yeah, be yeah, because I saw sometimes when they uh, they submit earlier than the deadline and then they we can see that they tried to uh, yeah. attempt, on, uh, do a second attempt. Yeah. So yeah, and then, I guess I... Yeah, and then you actually able to uh, set this one as well. Whether uh, you want to see uh, which one the, uh, that have a highest grade? If you so between two different grade, attempts, uh, within two different attempts, the highest mm. grade will be counted. If I you see. make it average, then it will be average, lah, and mm. so on. I see. And one more question regarding this: if yeah, if uh, the time limit has passed one hour, but I didn't set the, I didn't enable the close the quiz function, so. Will they the can make attempt forever. Able? They can make attempt uh, forever. Oh, but I only limit one hour. Uh, for the... That for uh, every attempt. Oh, for every attempt. Oh, I see. When they, they can do second attempt. If I didn't, I I did not uh, set the number of attempts. Then they can make many attempts. Yes. I see. But then if I set for one attempt only, 
but, and then they already submitted but then i didn't enable the close the quiz will the student be able to see the questions only uh, uh, is the questions will be visible without question. doing the attempt. definitely they, definitely they cannot uh, make an attempt mm. and i'm not so sure i think they cannot see the question as well ah, okay but Because those thinking those students who haven't attempt they can see the question of course Ah, I see the for the first time. Okay, thank you very much for the explanation. Okay. Uh, what else? Any 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 question on this uh, section? Oh, be careful, lah. Uh, access restriction. Let's say you want to have group A and group B. Um. Let's say uh, must match the following. Um. Let's say. Let me give you this one first. Normally, uh, people make a mistake over here. Normally, they try to uh, do the grouping. Your intention is to make sure this group, uh, this question can be answered by group one and group B, group one and group two. If you if you set that way, both group will not able to take up the question. Let me show you the scenario. In case you are using this, uh, let's say group A, A B. And then and group group B. Okay, if this is the setting, uh, none of them are able to take out the quiz because they have to be in group A B and also in group D because this is an operator. To overcome that, you need to use any. So, if the student in group B or in group B D, only then they will be able to take up. That means student group D will be student in group uh, A B can take up. So be careful when you are using this uh, restrict access. Not only uh, apply to a quiz but also to uh, other module. That's restriction. Any other question on this? If not, I'll save and we proceed. So just now we uh, created a quiz holder and do all the setting. What, uh, how the uh, that quiz going to behave, when it's going to open, and so on. Now come to the second part, the question. Um, the question can be added here. I can edit quiz. Or you can use this edit quiz. The second time you come in, when you have question, there will be no more edit quiz button. You need to use this in order to edit quiz. So make sure you turn edit on over here, edit quiz. But before that, let me go to, to the front page and see how the the quiz is looks like in the front page. This is the the front page of my Spectrum course page. Remember, I tick visible the description. That's why I can see the description down below the quiz. I click on that quiz, and then I come back to this uh, uh, edit quiz. <coughs> Let me edit quiz by using this button first. Uh, add simple question uh, two or four let's say one plus two this is question one uh, one plus one equal to two this is two or four question so mark one and then it's true this is the feedback that i'm talking about just now if the answer if the, if the student answer it correctly then maybe you want to say something here and you can say something here. So I have one question. Now, I've, if I go back to the front page, I wanted to edit the quiz again. Now, I do not have that button just now, right? Edit quiz. I can only preview. 
to edit the quiz to add more question you need to go here and edit quiz now you see you have a first question there now edit quiz um, over here you can the way you add quiz question there are many ways one by using the on screen uh, follow on screen alternatively you can add from question bank from question bank question bank um, for a long run for long run type of um, um, how to say um, if you are teaching uh, this subject for many many times it is it is good to uh, develop your question in question bank and then import to uh, to your quizzes to any of your quiz now let, let's go uh, and see our question bank I'm going to leave this page uh, and uh, we will come back afterward when we trying to add question now uh, where are the question bank uh, just log into your course page and then go to this uh, gear button and then more again i show you this is your front page right this is the quiz at the top right there is a gear button <coughs> click more and then here you can see a uh, question bank so click on that question bank so all the quizzes if you have created uh, many quiz uh, many quiz question in your uh, course it actually uh, captured here so notice over there those are the all the course all the uh, questions available uh, in this uh, question bank in this course so if um, you are covering um, several CO, for example, it is good to organize the question bank uh, based on CO. So that when you ask question, CO is cost, out cost outcome. When you ask question, you can have a section, um, section, let's say for CO1, CO2, let's say CO1, you have 10 questions. You want, in your question bank, you have uh, 10 questions for example but you want to pick uh, only two questions from question bank then by having this structure uh, it allows you to randomly pick two questions from your question bank and then put it there um, to show this I think better I uh, open an empty uh, a course that empty uh, question bank let me course here you can follow along you can open your course and then let's uh, together create uh, our question from question bank <coughs> so pick any course uh, pick this one then I'm going to view my question bank I just cleared the question bank for this course just now Okay, now I only have one question there, but uh, I will be focusing on this is your course code, and then we're going to create a section over here. Um, we go to category and add category. Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, categories. Aaron, okay. Um, in the question bank, when you open the question bank, you'll be landed here go to the categories and down below here 
select um, you can select this one or that one maybe I select this one default for KIB that will be parent underneath of this parent I would like to create a subcategory for CO1, CO2 and CO3 let's say CO1 just leave it empty okay. no, now if I go back here I'll see there is a one category created underneath the um, this code can okay, I repeat I repeat you go to the front page of your course the gear button there more and then you'll be directed to this page and then go to the question bank we want to go to the question bank and then edit question there and then my suggestion is to create categories based on uh, CO course outcome so that later on we can have a random question what happen if we, we if we do not put uh, CO um, uh, correctly if we, we put the distribute if we put uh, in one section and then we ask for random there will be a possibility that uh, the student will only only get the question from CO1 so therefore you will not uh, covering all the CO so to overcome that problem, it is good to um, have a section. Have a section yeah, for uh, that particular CO. Okay, to create the section, I again, I repeat, go to the category step. How to get here again? Um, oops. Uh, yeah, hello? Okay, sorry. Um, uh, where were we? Okay, uh, hope all of you are okay. How to get to this question bank? Okay, to create category, go to categories and then choose the parent category. We would like to choose this one. And then now the name just now I created CO1 now I created for CO2 okay. so I think enough uh, to have two COs now let's uh, create a question for CO1 click on that now I can create question for CO1 whatever question that I'm creating here I will uh, put it under CO1. If you accidentally create uh, on different CO, that's fine. It can be transferred afterwards. Let's say uh, multiple choices. The correct is this one. The correct answer. So safe changes. 
now I have one question there. Then I can create question another question. Let's see. True or false? The answer is false. See? Now I have two questions in CO1. Let's say question in CO2. Okay, question. Uh, calculation. Uh, for the one of the participants just now asking about uh, how to create equation, right? Um, to create, you can actually uh, put in JPEG or you can put in uh, in the format of um, this one, HTML. Um, You can put in JPEG if you have a question in JPEG or in PDF, for example, you can uh, upload here as well. So that would be the answer y equal to 2. So that means if they answer it correctly, then they will get 100%. And we can set the tolerance uh, plus minus uh, uh, 0 0.01 or whatever uh, tolerance that you prefer. There should be at least one wild card. Um, sorry. So never mind. Uh, let me. Another question. Mm. One. Um. Four times two is the eight. Now you see uh, CO2, I have two questions, CO, CO1, two questions, CO2, one question. I'm going to add uh, another question for CO2. CO2, let's see short answer. Simple sum, uh, I see. Mm. 
safe changes. Now I have two questions. There are many ways of creating questions. Just now I am um, showing the the one that use the uh, spectrum built in uh, uh, options. We can have uh, import capability. If you already have a question in another question bank, for example, you like to import here, it is possible. And there are a variety of format that are acceptable to be imported. When you import, you also uh, able to allocate where it should be imported. Let me create another CO, CO3, and then I import from um, one of this format. Let me create a category. Another category for this one. Now I'm going to use another method of creating question. Uh, certain people find it much easier that way. So let's see that um, I need to bring my browser, this one. Okay, this is a uh, GIF format. What is GIF format? Um, we can create question and put it in text form and then um, create uh, edit question there. So let's show the let me show you the example of key format. Um, example. Yeah. Let me download this example. And then you can create your uh, edit this example. Uh, as as your 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 template. Is it? Mm, save the S. Um, download zip save. And then okay. I just downloaded that file. Going to unzip that file. Mm. Yeah, this is the file. So it follows this format. Um, who break uh, uh, in uh, Grand Storm? Uh, these are the answer. This is uh, the correct answer. No one. Uh, this is another type of question. Uh, it, it kind of uh, fill in the blank. And this is uh, true or false. Multiple choices are also available. This is multiple choices. Maybe I can make it bigger so that you guys can see. Um, multiple choices. Uh, the American holiday of Thanksgiving is celebrated on the so uh, second, third, and this is the correct answer. Um, this is another way of creating the multiple choices. Japanese characters originally come from what country? Right? So that is the correct answer. That's when you can edit this question to suit your need and then make sure the correct answer uh, has equal in front of it. And you need to follow the format. Uh, this is a short answer. Who buried in Grand Storms? Um, it can be if the student answer no one or nobody, both are correct. Uh, second uh, question, 2 plus 2 equals if the student type in 4 or digit 4, both are correct. And this is true or false. And there are many more type of uh, format. We are going to upload, uh, import this question. 
Let me see this on my desktop. From the quiz just now, here. Remember how to get here. Um, I just uh, repeat another another time. Go uh, here. More. Make sure you turn edit on. You are in the front page of your course. Click on the course code that ensure you are in the front page. And on the top right, there is a gear button, and then click on more then you'll be directed to this page down below here you can see the question bank click on question bank and then under category you're able to see the categories <coughs> i teach you how to create the category based on co's so that the question are kept inside the correct co that will be easier afterward when you want to import the question to the question uh, to the uh, quiz holder now i wanted to import the quiz from GIF format that I downloaded just now, the example, uh, into CO3. I'm going to uh, click import. I know the format is GIF format. Um, and then I wanted to allocate that question inside this category. So I need to choose that. And I'll choose the file. I save in my desktop just now. Desktop. Uh, last modify that one. Open. Okay, I'll put this file. And then import. You can do drag and drop as well. Okay. Now the question has been. Uh, this is not, uh, not yet transported, uh, imported. Once I click this one, it is imported to this section. Um, immediately, I have got 40 uh, questions inside my CO3. Right. So just now I show you uh, the slow or the uh, uh, kind of simple way, but it become quite difficult if you want to have more questions. The second approach, uh, you can use uh, that format, GIF format, to uh, easily uh, edit your question. But you need to make sure you follow the format. Um, the description about the format can be found inside the menu. This menu. Again, you go to the Moodle, and then this is GIF format. Or you can simply type in GIF format order. Uh, another simple format is icon format. Let me search for icon. Uh, let me bring just below here. This is icon format. But the limitation of icon format Although it is simple, it only have this. It only support uh, this type of uh, multiple choices question. Let's import that icon format as well. Uh, where is the example? Let me see. If I can find the example, I can make use of this. Um, you have to save the file in text format, don't save it in Word. Not ask the character. Okay, let's try. All new paste and then file save and let me check UTF eight format UTF eight. Desktop. 
now let's create another section let's call it uh, CO4 to hold this um, question categories and then CO4 KIB3011 CO4 KIB3011 You can give any suitable name Preferably at the front you have number representing the CO Category now I have uh, CO4 Then I, currently I have 0 for CO4 okay. CO4 currently I have 0 I'm going to import from item format. I would like to put it inside CO4 and then I can drag and drop the file. I have it in desktop just now. This one. I can navigate the file that like what I did in um, D format or I can do drag and drop. Hopefully it works. Yep. Continue. Yeah. Now I have two questions for the CO4. Can quickly check here. Now I'm ready to create my um, quiz that covers um, all the four, all all, uh, all the four CEOs. Go back to the front page, and then. Uh, go to the quiz just now. Oops. I created the quiz holder in different course, but I wanted to add here. Let me quickly create a quiz holder for in this inside this course. Quiz I'm just repeating whatever I did previously. We I don't want to display anything there, but timing I want to it to open at uh, today right? and close after five minutes. Oh, maybe ten minutes. Um, and then it will close tomorrow. Okay. I can have unlimited attempt, every question. I don't want this. Deeper feedback, I set the uh, deeper feedback. And that's it. Now I'm going to add the question inside my quiz holder. Um, now I have opportunity to add from question bank. Um, now I'm going to add from CO1. Um, Trying to look for the random. Let me check here. This is shuffle. Ah, here. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to put a random, a random question uh, from this. I'm going to pick one random question from C O one. 
่ได้เป็นธรรมเกิดขึ้นเดสโพสิโอนเอ็นไอเคนเฮฟนัดเดอร์แอนด์เกิดขึ้นจากซีโอทูดิสเวย์ไอเอ็นชัวร์เดสเกิดขึ้นวันเดฟเนตลีคัฟฟิงซีโอวันเกิดขึ้นสองคัฟฟิงซีโอสองนักส์แอร์เรนดัมคำถามจากซีโอสองซีโอสามฉันไปสลับแอร์เรนดัมแอร์เรนดัมคำถามโอเคตอนนี้ฉันเพราะ CO3 มันเป็นความเร็วแล้วฉันอยากจะมีสามคำถามแล้วเราจะตัดจาก CO3 So you know, uh, sorry, I think I picked it wrongly. This is CO2. I'm going to edit this one. I'll do it again. Random question from CO3. Make sure you are selecting the right CO. So I need three questions there. So automatically, three question are uh, being added. Now the last one. Maybe I just simply uh, pick the two question for the last one. Uh, no option, no random for this one. Now I have all together seven question. Now I'm ready. Uh, Okay, I've uh, indicated how the question option can be set randomly. How the question can be pulled from the um, from the uh, question bank randomly, and how to make sure uh, all the question are covering all the COs by having them uh, split into a proper section. And then on top of that, uh, notice for CO3 over here, I have one, two, three question. I can actually make another random here. Um, let me gel them together. And then Going to add a section heading. This one I can add section heading as well. CO2, CO3, I have three questions and then this one I can join them together um, then add section S right. CO1, 2, 3, 4 now I can further randomize the question, shuffle this means if student somehow student A, student B they uh, the random question the first level they somehow got the same um, same question but over here at another level we can shuffle the question or um, 
uh, maybe this example will explain better. Remember uh, CO4, I do not pick random, right? So all of them, uh, if I do nothing, all of them will see question 6 and question 7, the same question. But if I put shuffle, um, certain student will see this as question 6, certain student will see this as question 7. And if you have more, then the random effect will be uh, more dominant. Okay. Any questions so far? So I have covered on how to create the quiz holder, do the setting on the quiz holder, which include the on time, off time, the duration, attempts, um, touch a bit on restriction. And then afterwards, I uh, use question bank to create question. First, I create question using a uh, follow on screen. Second, I create question using import, uh, using GIF format, where by using that approach, you can edit the question easily instead of manually uh, Like the first question, you see, uh, it is quite challenging. You see, from here, you have to uh, add a question. You have to pick, especially multiple choices, you see. You add here, and then you have to type in the question. You have to uh, put the uh, answer for one, question two, indicate which one is correct, and so on. It, it is quite a lengthy process. <coughs> That's that's why the icon format and GIF format come into um, an option for you to choose. Now, and also I indicated how to uh, import the question, how to make it run random, and further randomize the question within the page. Now, um, we are good to go. Now to test it out, you can view question from here using this magnifying class. That's how the question will look like to the student. Or you can um, go to the front page here, Over here, preview. You can uh, start an attempt to preview. Or you can change your role as student. And then make an attempt quiz. From that, you will be able to see how the student see. But out of all, I think uh, to preview the question, this would be the best approach. Over there, preview. Yes, the attempt. See, this is the first question. Uh, notice the first one I put in the uh, when I set up the question, uh, seremban, right? The top one. But when come to the answer, it is D. But it the system still recognize D as the correct answer. Lah. When the student advancing, you notice. Um, here with the half gray indicated the question has been uh, answered by the student. Um, the okay, this one I'll describe. Yeah. So I've completed CO2 question. Now I'm in CO3. Uh, Next page. Mm. Next page. Notice the current, um, the the. This is navigation, quiz navigation, the one with the, this color, uh, the bow, is the current one. If the student would like to jump to the other question, they can simply click that and then it goes to that question. That will be active. 
and the student actually be able to flag the question as well. Where is the flag? Here. Flag the question. Let's say they find it difficult, that uh, particular question, they can flag it. Now let's say complete everything. And that is the time. Remember I said uh, 10 minutes, right? This is the time that uh, student can see uh, how long they, they have gone through and then how how long they have uh, remaining, how many minutes they have time uh, remaining. Uh, Student have to remember to click this uh, submit all and finish. So just now it shows how the student will see when they take up the question, but it is not uh, recorded. Um, at the student uh, at the lecturer side. Um, let me let you decide. Let me go back to the front. Um, if attempt has been made, then you will see um, an attempt, a one attempt, two attempt, and so on. This is important. Uh, the next step that I'm going to show is important for you to monitor your student uh, who have uh, take up the quiz, who haven't logged in who have completed, who have attempted, and so on. Those uh, can be viewed by when the students start taking up the quiz. The quiz. Let me log in as one of my students here. Since I'm the e-learning coordinator, I have ability to log in as a uh, user. Let me add participant here. Um, 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 Zahira. Zahiruddin. Nah, ini ada Zahir ni. Okay. Okay. <coughs> I just want to show the, the, the progress uh, who uh, have uh, taken the quiz. Let me quickly log in as Dr. Zahe. as a woman. Tak ada pula. 
Um, Okay. Any questions so far? Are you clear? Uh, am I? Uh, I think on uh, the first uh, participant, Dr. Zailan. So, Matt, uh, you can uh, make use of our PDF and also I think. Uh, it's um, HTML. Good. Just now, remember we can uh, include the HTML code, right? Let me see whether we can get this uh, HTML code deeper. Uh, please explore uh, how to write code in HTML. There are many ways of uh, including the equation. One, uh, possibly using HTML uh, code editor. Second, simply crop the uh, equation and then put as image. Third, you can include as a PDF file or any image file to the question. Um, by Dr. Wahib, coordinator utilized for design question. Uh, so I believe I've touched uh, on uh, question design question. Um, Dr. the CD uh, from Question Bank. So I've uh, discussed how the question can be pulled from Question Bank Bank and make it random. There, are, I think uh, the first random that I show you is to set the answer to make it random. That setting is available in the uh, quiz holder setting. Um, secondly, uh, when you pick up the question from question bank, you can uh, pick up randomly. Uh, thirdly, you can create section and then within that section, you can make the question appear randomly. Hope that uh, covers uh, the uh, learning outcome uh, intended or the expectation by Dr. Sidi. And then I, next, I Dr. Uh, Nafi, yeah. Uh, just to follow, okay, I hope you have uh, able to um, follow <laughs> along and then able to learn something new. And yes, lastly, I am. Thank you. Yeah. Lastly, Dr. Mohsin, Mohsin also would like to follow along. All right. Uh, I hope I've uh, covered the important things on thesis, on, on uh, quiz. Uh, and you gain something today and hope you, you can uh, you can make use for your teaching learning remember it is not only for the purpose of assessment it also allow uh, your student to um, as part of the learning process uh, activity in the class activity because you can allow them to answer the question and see whether the answer is correct or wrong and then advance further or make an, a second attempt uh, that can be part of the activity can be a, a simple maybe a five minute quiz session you just put up the uh, question you make it can you can have uh, your question bank and then make it a random question that that will be uh, kind of uh, useful activity that can be used inside your class session um, any other things that uh, you have question in mind that you want me to cover? <coughs> uh, I have one question, boleh Dr. Yazid? Boleh, boleh, boleh. Uh, regarding, because we have the options to uh, have different format of uh, the questions, right? Like essay, short answer, multiple choice questions. So, because I had this problem the other day, I I set the question using uh, one format, a uh, wrong format. I, I, I wanted to use the essay format, but then I set it as a short answer format. And during this session, during, so the quiz is on, 
and then the student informed me that the the the, the, the box to put the answer is too small so when i checked so i realized that i put the wrong uh used the wrong format so is there any way to change the format um without needing to re um because i i, I just paste the whole question in the question box yeah, so yeah. but okay. then yeah um while the student have start uh, attempt the quiz it is not advisable for <laughs> lecturer to edit the quiz uh, because certain uh, simple mistake like spelling error that is okay but when it mm. involve the touching the formatting uh, formatting of the let's say abc that one uh, that might break break the uh, the quiz itself mm. uh, one of the way if you notice that maybe you can have uh, quickly create a, another quiz and then make mm. use of that quiz yeah, actually i had to stop the quiz <laughs> do quickly do an, another one using the correct format and then restart the quiz so i was thinking there is no there is no way to um switch because, the because uh, the, the problem we we afraid it when you edit it uh, significantly it will break the quiz Mm, yeah. uh, big mean uh, how to say uh, all the student will 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 see uh, the quiz maybe uh, frozen something like that. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. When uh, when you ask that question, uh, I think uh, there's another thing that I would like to show. Um, if for example you have um, conducted the the quiz session, let's say for exam lah, and then uh, there are few students. Uh, having difficulty and you would like to extend time for these two student only or maybe oh, yes, uh, this yes, student yes. ada masalah katakan uh, transport problem ke apa kan and then you want allow you wanted to allow them to have exception there is a way to do that uh, how let me show you uh, I think I need to go back to the please just now okay, I did this so inside the quiz setting Uh, make sure you are in editing mode. Uh, you know that you are not in editing mode when the pencil icon is not there. So now I'm not in editing mode. Make sure you are the uh, you log in as you and then turn edit on. When turn edit on, you see pencil there. That means you are in editing mode. Okay, go to the question, the quiz. Uh, you can click on there and then over there. There is uh, override. You see, let me zoom. We can have group override or user override. Okay, let's say it involves uh, two uh, students, then you can make use user override. Click on that and then identify who are the students. Let's say the student is, uh, let's see. Move it up. Move. Yeah, you want this student to have different open and close uh, quiz time. Then you can specify. This uh, is only applicable to this particular student. So let's say I want to extend by one day for this. Uh, let's say to this and then I mean the time limit I make it 8 for example and at time I just want to give one at time and see so what happened that particular student will able to log in within that uh, new restriction only for that student And you have another student. Mm, I see. You can set accordingly. That that's how you are able to override the existing setting. So mm -hmm. that's why the the setting on the timing, on the first one is uh, useful to be used instead of using the restriction. I because see. So is, if, have the, that uh, this capability. So restriction. If I use restriction, I cannot use override. Um, so far as I know, 
there is a way but uh, can be mm. difficult lah mm. you need to play around okay. with the rules so, i see so i can okay. i can use override to extend the time for the quiz like if i say one hour and then i decided i'm going to give yep. the, the team more minutes to everyone just to everyone you just lah. uh, override the first uh, group, one group override right mm. I think mm. if 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 it involve everybody, mm. if it involve everybody, you don't have to edit here. You can edit from here. Edit quiz. If the if the quiz is already ongoing. Um. Wait, uh, let me see. Yeah, you can edit the uh, the one I show you just now, or alternatively, you can. Edit from here. Setting. Yeah. Mm. Ah, yeah. uh, from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um. Now three forty four. I think we stop here, lah. Unless we have a few more questions, ada chat lah chat. Let's see. Oh, kindly fill in the feedback form. Only those uh, fill out the feedback form will get a certificate. Alright, thank you, uh, everyone. Uh, this hmm. session uh, will have the. Uh, I think the recorded session will be uploaded inside our uh, inside IDEC uh, website. Uh, am I right, Umo? Um, yes, Dr. Yazid. But if you can find it, then just WhatsApp to us, we'll get you. Uh, actually, I'm, 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 I'm here as a guest, so I, I couldn't see the chat box oh. and the form. Uh, Dr. Fikri, Dr. Uh, we will uh, share the um, QR code oh. in just a while. Oh. Is that okay? Okay, thank you very much. All right. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you right. for your time. Thank you, Dr. Yazid. Thank All right, thank you, very you very everyone. Um, we will share the screen now. Thank you very much. Yazid. Thank you. Hope you can uh, give feedback that uh, will be useful for uh, ADEC to further improve our upcoming uh, training. Thank you.